Hi there. What we're going to do in this segment is we're going to buffer these hydro features that you see on this map. But in order to do that, in order to buffer those hydro features, streams, ponds, lakes, wetlands, and so on that are in this layer, we need to select only the true hydro features. Now, as you can see, there's a, there's a rectangle around these features. And actually, the rectangle are included in the hydro features layer, but they're not really hydro features, correct? They are neat lines. They are bounding lines around the data set. In other words, in this case, the bounding lines are the 7.5 minute by 7.5 minute topographic uh, map extent. So we want to select those out. We can browse around and look at the attributes, and it looks like the left side polygon or the right side polygon is equal to 1 in these neat lines. In other words, depending on how the line was originally digitized, either the left side polygon was 1 or the right side polygon was 1. The 1 is the area outside of this 7.5 minute by 7.5 minute chunk of the Earth's surface. So by selecting out those and then switching selection, we will only get the true hydro features. So let's do that. In order to do that, though, first I'm going to select um, the selection button and go to selection options. And notice that I've got the yellow uh, selected here. And that way I can see it a little bit better. OK, and the second step then is I'm going to select by attributes now that I've got my selection color is yellow, just so I can see them a little bit better when I select things. I'm going to go to L poly equals 1 or R poly equals 1. And I'm going to say OK. Now I've got the neat line selected, as you can see here. And now it's a matter of simply going to the selection option here and going to switch selection. So I've switched it from the neat line to everything else. At this point, I only have the hydro features. And how many do I have? Let's go ahead and open the attribute table. It looks like I have 280 out of the 321. So those, what, 41 lines were actually the neat lines. I don't want to include those neat lines in, in my criteria. In other words, they're not hydro features at all. I don't need to buffer the neat lines. So what we've done is we've changed the selection color just for ease of identification. And then we've used the select to select out those neat lines. And then we've switched the selection. Now, another way to select out those neat lines could be for me to go individually along there and select them with my mouse. Now, that is done with this tool right here, Select Features Tool. But what if I missed a few of them along the way? So it's generally better to select by some sort of attribute if you can. Excellent. Thanks.